So how many times have you set up a WordPress website, everything is working perfectly fine, then you log into your dashboard after a few weeks and you see a notification saying that Elemental or WooCommerce need an update. Now you can't help but feel that sense of dread when you do this thinking, is it gonna work okay? Am I gonna have problems? Well, there's a couple of ways you can handle this situation. You can take an entire backup, which is always recommended. However, one of the best ways of doing things is to have a staging site. Now, if you've never used a staging site with WordPress, it's incredibly easy to do, but you do need some simple software to help you along the way. Today, I'm gonna to show you two ways in which you can handle this. We're gonna be using the free version for the main part of this, but then I'm gonna show you a couple of benefits of why you may wanna consider opting for the pro version of this plugin, just for the ease in which you can roll out the staging sites to your live site. So first of all, let's take a look at the plugin and take a look at how we can set things up with the free version and get a lot of what we need done. Okay, so we're going to be using a plugin called WP Vivid Backup. This is the pro or premium version, but we are going to be using that free version to kick things off with. So once you've gone ahead, downloaded and installed it, you're going to have a new entry inside your dashboard called WP Vivid Backup. If we hover over or open that section up, you can see inside there we have a new section called staging. Let's open that up and inside there you'll see we've got a couple of options. We're interested in the create a staging site option. So all we need to do is click on create a staging site. This is now where we're going to have to answer a couple of questions to make sure we've got things configured the way that we want it to work. So first of all, we've got the directory for installing the staging site. Now this is just where you want that duplicate copy of your entire site in a staging section so you can go ahead and test things out. You can see with the free version, we have two options. With the pro version, we have a third option. For now though, we're gonna just take a look at the free versions. So we've got the website root, and we've also got the WP content folder. Now personally, I would recommend sticking to the website root, just makes the whole thing a little easier. This just means that your staging site is gonna be underneath the yourwebsite.com forward slash mystaging01 or whatever you want to call it in the next step. That's the easiest way of doing it. So you can see there we've got what's the name of the directory that we want to call it. So you can see my stage in 01, well, we're going to call this Ellie Update. So that's our custom directory. You can call this whatever you want. And you can have multiple stage insights if you want to test various different things out. Obviously, if you do that, it is going to take up space on your hosting account. Therefore, make sure you've got plenty of space if you need to run multiple stage insights or you have bigger sites. So once that's been done, you can see underneath now, it tells us exactly where our site is going to be, our stage insight, and also the directory inside our actual hosting account. Next up, we've got to choose where we want our copy of our database data to be held. You can see then we can choose to install this into the live sites database, which is the recommended method, or you can create a new custom database. And you can see if we open that up, we now have to go ahead and give it the details, the name, the password, and so on. If you prefer to do that, by all means do that. We're gonna set this to the recommended option. Next up, we've got the option to choose what we want to copy to our stage insight. Now with the free version, we only have the option to see exactly what's going on. However, if we have the pro version, we do get more options to include and exclude various different parts. With that being said, everything now is in place. All we need to do is click on that create now button. That will then give us a warning we can confirm that we're happy to go ahead with this, and then we just need to wait a little bit of time, depending upon the size of your website, for you to go ahead, create that stage insight, or copy all those duplicate files over, add all the data into the database tables, all those things. We're gonna let that carry on, then we're gonna come back once this is finished and take a look at how we can start working with our stage insight. And there we go. Now, after a few minutes, everything has completed. And as you can see, this now gives us an overview of our stage insight details. We can see the site name, the URL, the admin URL, the database prefix, all those kinds of things. So if you have multiple stage insights, this will show you exactly what's what and where they're actually stored. So what we need to do now is go ahead and open up the admin of the stage insight and we can run our update and make sure everything works perfectly fine. So let's do that. Let's open this up in a new tab. We can go ahead and log in. Now all the login details are gonna be exactly the same as your live site, so we'll click on login on there. And you can see now this logs us into an identical duplicate of our site, which is our stage insight. We can see it's a stage insight because I have this big orange bar at the top of our screen. You can see on the left hand side, there's our update ready to go ahead. And if we open up Vivid Backup, you can see if we go into the staging section, we can see the details, but we can't do anything inside here because this is the actual staging site. So we can't push this back over. All that has to be done on your actual live site. So bear that in mind. So now with this bar at the top, we can see exactly what's going on. We can hop into our plugin section. We can go into the install plugins. We can update Elemental. There we go, we've now updated that. So now we can go ahead, jump over into our site. 
And now we can just go ahead and just make sure everything is working perfectly the way we expect it to after we've made our updates. If anything's gone wrong, we can go ahead and we can fault find, sort things out. Or if we can't get things working, we can wait for an update to come out and then we can go ahead and try all that again. So once we're happy with everything working okay, we can then go ahead and we can just make those updates. So now we're back on the live site, what we need to do is go ahead into our plugin section and inside there we can now make those updates safe in the knowledge that our staging site has allowed us to test things out, make sure everything is working before we go into this on the live site. And that's all you need to do and that's what the free version gives you, total control over creating those staging sites, testing things out and then you can go ahead and just update things. When you finish with your staging site you can then just go ahead back into the staging section and all we need to do is click on the option for delete and that will completely remove it. However, if you want to go and make your life even easier, the pro or premium version of WP Vivid Backup gives you more options, especially when it comes to stage insights and the whole process becomes just a little bit easier. You can see these options for update the stage insight, which is the pro feature, and also copy the stage insight to live. This just makes the whole process really, really simple. So I'm going to go ahead now, install the pro version of WP Vivid Backup and show you how this just makes the whole process considerably easier. But if you want to stick with the free version, you can do that and then just manually update things once you've tested things on your stage insight. Okay, so now I've installed the pro version and all the different bits and pieces that come with it. I now have just a few more options. You can see I'm back into the stage insight section. There's our stage insight as we saw previously with the free version, but now we've got the options for updating the stage insight and copying the stage insight to live. Now updating the stage insight basically means that we've made some changes to our live site and we want to push those over to a previously created stage insight to make some more tests, to advance things, those kinds of things. This can be great if you keep a stage insight active for longer periods of time. However, we want the copy stage insight to live. So all that allows us to do is make changes on the stage insight. Once we're happy with that, we can push all those changes to the actual live site without doing any more work other than clicking this one button. So let's see how that works. Let's copy this over. So we'll just click on copy stage insight to live. So this then gives us the ability to choose what it is we want to copy over. We can choose between the files and the database. So basically all of WordPress. We can choose only the uploads folder and the database or we can choose custom content. If we open up custom content, we could then go ahead and choose exactly what we want to copy over. For this example though, we want the files and the database, the entire stage insight content. So what we need to do now is click on copy now. That will give us a confirmation to make sure we're happy. We haven't clicked this by accident. We'll click okay. That's now gonna basically do the reverse of what we saw earlier on. This is now gonna copy everything over from the stage insight to our live site, all our updates, any changes you made on the staging site will then be live on the live site. So we're gonna wait for that to complete, shouldn't take very long, and then we're pretty much done. And there we go, after a few minutes, everything has now completed. You can see we have no longer having any of those updates because that's all been pushed over now to the live site. It really is that easy. And then once we finish and we want to remove everything, we can simply find any of the staging sites, click on delete, Confirm we want to get rid of that. And there we go. That's our staging site all wrapped up. So now that we've gone ahead, deleted everything, that's basically the whole process of creating the staging site, rolling those updates out, checking everything works okay, and then pushing that to the live site all completed. Hopefully what this video has demonstrated though is that it's not scary, it's relatively easy to do, and you can do it with some great free software. But if you want total ease, the pro or premium version of WP Vivid Backup may be something worth investigating. If you want to learn more about this backup process and all the different options that are available inside WP Vivid Backup, check out the video you can see in the corner right now. As always, all the applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.